Happy Friday, everybody. This is Lori from Shadow Crafters. Hope everybody's having a great day on this Friday afternoon. Looks like it's going to rain or it may turn sunny. Who knows? This weather has been crazy, but all I know is it's still hot and humid here in upstate New York. Um, I'm here because I got a small haul. I was hoping my package that I've been waiting for since last month would come in, but it's a small company and they're backed up because they are starting to get well known. It's Art and Soul, if you never heard from them. It's a diamond painting company. Beautiful, beautiful canvases. It's licensed. It's not a budget friendly company, so be aware of that. But I was watching a video last month and it was one of our diamond painting person that's in our community and she was showing the completion of it and I fell in love and I had to have it. I had my money saved on something else and I decided to get this one. I wrote to them yesterday to ask um, what was going on because I noticed that it hasn't been fulfilled yet and very nice they responded fast and they just told me that they are small there's only a few of them they're trying to get their orders out as fast as they can but they don't have enough help and you know their business started slow and now it's like poof, it exploded because everybody's passing it around and everybody's liking what they see and now they're backed up which is very understandable and if you can't be patient and wait for your product to come in they are willing to refund it but I told them no I want this painting so bad it's so cute so adorable I'm just excited to see it but I can understand you know how small companies are my parents used to own a small business when I was a baby and I used to hear all the stories about how things go when your family own business and you know you just gotta go with the flow that's the way I see it, or look at it so anyways let's continue what we're here for so I was on SD and I was looking for pens and looking at trays and looking at other things and I came across this company and it's called Printing Platform and that's the name of the company right there and I was trying to look for something in you know my price range because I'm not Rockefeller and I saw this tray and I thought it was cute and I thought I'd give it a try and I need something bigger than what I'm using I love the tray I'm using right now this is from Baiju Bliss. This is the one I'm using. I love it, but it's small, but I like the magnetic tray. I like everything about it. I like the color. I just wanted something a little bit different. You know, just try out different companies, give them a chance, and, you know, see if I can find something in my price range. So, on that note, let's continue. So it came in a box and then it came in this package. So they are very good at packaging their stuff to make sure it arrives hopefully safe and not damaged. And this is what it is. They have all different colors. So I ordered this pink. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it does have glitter, a little bit of shine, a little bit of glitter on it. But um, it's a diamond painting tray with lid. It was free shipping, magnetic stopper plug, and it was custom made, and it's an organizer, they call it. Um, it was originally $14.99. They gave me a shop discount of $3. So, like I said, it was free shipping, so it came, has $12.95, which I don't think was bad. Like I said, it's a good size. 
It's nice and it's not too heavy, it's not too light. I like the little stopper, it is magnetic. The only thing that I don't like is it don't have a little spout. This is the lid, very nice lid. The only thing I don't like about that is that's not magnetic. So that's the only thing I'm finding fault with this tray is that it's not magnetic lid and it don't have a little spout. But besides, so far so good. And this is what it looks like inside. So, oh, my magnetic spout fell, or my magnetic thing came out. Or if you have to have a certain way. All right. So I noticed I would ask a couple of people, but nobody responded to me. But that's okay. Um, I was wondering why they were putting washi tape right here, and now I know why. Because people before they started making these, uh, the trays with these kind of, you know, spots where it's smooth and it's a little raised. Um, when you shake your tray and your grills. They like where your drills line up and then the rest can go hopefully right here and stay out of, the out of the way. I can't speak today. So when you use your pen to pick up your drills, especially if you're multi-placing, it's easier than having all your drills in the way. So now I know why the washi tape was there. So that's another reason why I was looking for a tray like that to see if it had something like this. Because I did put washi tape on one of my trays. It kind of works, but I kind of don't like it. <laughs> so the sides are pretty high. It's a thick tray. The lines look really good. So let's see how it works when you pour your drills in. And hopefully you guys can see. I'm not good at shaking it, guys. So please bear with me. So the little thing is staying on, thank goodness. And that's how it looks. Whoops. Let's try this again, guys. So there you go. That's not bad. I'm still practicing, but I see how the extra, you know, drills go up here, and then you got your lines and everything right there. So that's nice. So it would be nice if this was magnetic. So when you keep your drills in, if you have to or anything like that, at least they won't fall out. Because like I said, you know, I have my drills in here. I can leave them in here without them falling out. So... All in all, I will give this tray a four and a half. If it had a little spout, and maybe if this maybe had another, was a little bit stronger to stay in, that would be nice. You have to put it a certain way, so they must have the magnetic on top. I can feel it. And if this had, if this was magnetic, but beyond that, I I do like this tray. Very nice. And they also I couldn't find it, sorry about that. They also gave a free gift. And this is a wildflower in pink, baby pink, and it's wax. And it came in this little container. And this is what it looks like. They gave me three of them. smells good. Oh, I love the smell of it. It's not, it's definitely smell like wildflowers. Not very strong. Very nice. I love that. Wow, I never knew wildflowers like that. Smell good. So, there's one. Two. And three. So, I will let you guys know how 
their wax works. Hopefully that's wax. <laughs> I'm assuming it's wax. So that's very nice when a company gives you free stuff. I like it. It just shows a little bit of appreciation. Whether it's just a, you know, a sticker, a thank you note, or a discount, or anything like that. It's very, very nice. I think this one did give me a discount. Yes, it did. It get, on my next order, it gave me a 15% discount. So that's very nice also. So if you never heard of this company, and again, it's called Printing Platform. If you have ordered from this company before, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me how you feel about it. Tell me what you got. If you liked it, didn't like it. I would love to hear from you guys. I miss hearing from all you guys. I know it's summertime. Um, I know people get busy. I know that it's been hot. There's been really bad weather going on. But if you have a chance, please come back watch my videos leave a comment say hi tell me that you're still alive tell me that you still you know love seeing my videos and watching them and if you could just um i know sometimes at the beginning i start off slow and then i get into it um but try to watch it to the end because it does help us creators when you do watch our videos when you give us a thumbs up and you share it and you comment all those little things do help and you subscribe and make sure you have the notification bell on so you know when our videos are up but little things like that do help someone like me who's a small channel and isn't an expert and isn't professional because like I said I am being me I'm one of those creators who just want to be me. I don't want to be like anybody else. I want to show, I want my content to be a, a normal person who's just showing what she's buying or showing what she's doing and, or showing what she's making, stuff like that. So I really, really would appreciate if you could help me as much as you can if you like what you see. And, um, yeah, because I really do miss you guys. You guys were all, you know, involved in, in my channel and you were involved communicating with me. And I really appreciate all your support and all your comments and all your advice and everything else. Um, because things are going pretty good for me. You know, my health wise, I've been going to my doctors, things are coming out well, things are going in the right direction so I'm very happy on that and the reason why I'm doing this this channel and diamond painting and stuff like that is because of my my mental illness and stuff like that and it's helping me out and I want to meet you know friends and you guys are all my friends you know once you subscribe to my channel I don't consider you guys as my subscribers I consider you guys as my friends because I am trying to have friends because I don't have many friends. And if you watch my whip and chat or you watch my other videos, you, you'll know the story. And I just don't want to keep repeating myself. And, uh, yeah. So, it's really nice to have you guys um, come on. I look forward every day to see how many views I got, to see how many comments I got, to see how many subscribers I got, because I'm trying to reach 500, so I can do another giveaway, because the things that I have, I would love to see other people have, because, you know, there's people out there that can't afford the stuff, and they would love to have things like this, or they have, you know, problems like I do, and I'm trying to also show on my channel that, Diamond painting and paper crafting and all that does help people who have a mental illness. You know, it's mental awareness. And to show that things like this can help. Little things can help people like us. And we just need to have other people understand 
what we're going through instead of judging us. And, you know, like I said, if you watch my whip and chat stuff, we get called a lot of names. Well, I do. I get called a lot of names or I get judged before people get to know me. But they don't understand my situation. And that's why I'm doing this channel. And that's why I'm just being myself. I don't want to be something I'm not. And with all you guys' help, it's been helping me feel better. It's putting a smile on my face, so hopefully I'm putting a smile on your face. Hopefully you're liking what you're seeing. And I also joined TikTok just to check it out, see how it is there. I met a lot of wonderful people in the diamond painting world there and the community over there. They are very nice people. Um, the only difference I see between YouTube and TikTok is TikTok is a little bit easier to get your channel going. Um, people are not so tough on you and their requirements are a little bit easier and you can do lives. You don't have to wait until you get a thousand subscribers, get so many views, get so many watch. Um, they are changing their um, their app and everything. Um, it's very interesting, though. <laughs> I noticed the lives. Uh, everybody, I'm not judging, but it's very interesting. Um, the things that I have seen, I have never seen in my life. I didn't know you could make money off the stuff that some of these people do. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I struggled. I started this YouTube channel, I think, in 2017, and I'm still struggling. And that's okay. I'm not here for the money. I'm here to do something that I like. I'm here to meet friends and I'm be part of the community and to make my help and my mind better and um what i seen on tiktok especially at night time you definitely see some crazy stuff <laughs> and uh it's fun though it's really fun everybody's you know everybody's different and we weren't this world would be boring the only thing i would like to see is a lot more kindness um less judging not people being so mean. That's the only thing I'm working on now is where I live. It's tough where I live at. There's a lot of people who judge you, who accuse you of things before knowing the facts, um, who likes to fight. And a lot of people ran away from this place, but People haven't met me. I am a Virgo and I stand up for my rights. And I know how it feels to be judged and be treated mean and, you know, get beat up and all that stuff. And this town wants a community back. They're trying to change it. And they already shut down one place. And this place, people are tired of it because they're are older people like us that live here and a lot of people that do live here um, they're young but I'm not discriminating against that but um, they're very like one person said today it's the new generation is you know it's how they've been raised or who they hang out with or whatever you know and there's a group of us who's trying to make this community safe, friendly, because we do have kids here. And if you don't stand up for your rights and you don't speak up and you don't do the right thing, nothing will change. And that's what we're doing. And that's what I'm doing. Because this place could be very, it used to be a really nice place to live at, I heard and I was told. But it's who's in charge. And it's who they bring in. And it's... A lot of people don't follow the rules. And that's what we need to get back into. We all have to have rules. No matter where you're at. 
you have to have rules. Because if you didn't have rules, this world would be off the wall. And there would, probably wouldn't be a <laughs> an earth anymore or a world or whatever you want to call it. But I really don't want to get into it. But that's the only thing that's keeping me down. But I am trying. And I have other people who are backing me up on it. And trying to make a change to try to make this a better place. But to get back to what I'm saying is don't judge the book by its cover. Get to know the facts. Get to know the person. Get to know what's going on. Try to be kind. And my new saying is if you want to fight and be a bully, go have these people go and be on the front line of the war. You want to hurt someone or you want to think you're all that and then some and you want to be a bully and beat up people and treat people like crap. Go to all these wards where people are fighting. And if that's what you want to do out in your life and make your life that way, that's my new thing and my new thought is put these people in the war. If you want to fight against each other, then join the service and go fight in the war. If you will you know, that's the way I'm thinking right now. And that's where I think a lot of these people who are really harsh and mean, this is all my opinion, guys. And want to hurt other people and want to discriminate and slander and everything else. Then I think a new thing is put these people in the war. Put them in the service and show them how it really feels to be on the other end. So on that note, I'm going to end it like that. So... Besides that, things are going well, but I am standing up for my right. I am fighting for the people who are tired of what's going on. And that's why we have freedom of speech. That's why we're allowed to protest. And if you don't stand up for what is right, nothing's going to change. So, on that note, I hope everybody has a great weekend. I hope you like what you saw. Oh, there's one thing I want to I wanna do, though. I want to see how this pours out without having a little spout. So I'm using my new funnel that I got. If you haven't seen that video, I think it was yesterday or day before video, check it out. But here we go. Let's see how well this works. Well, it slides out very good. I'm telling you that right now because some of my trays, things don't want to come out slide out and go in, back into the bag. So I did miss a couple drills. They went flying because first of all I am pouring it into a baggie and like I said it don't have a funnel, a funnel on this end right here. So but besides that it does go in. They do slide down nicely but if you have a little funnel at this end, you have a little bit more control. But besides that, I do still like the tray. And you have to have the magnet go up this way because I think the magnet, the other one's up this way. So that's the way it's going to stay. Because if I think if you put it this way, see it falls right out. So they should put magnets probably in this area and then put the magnets on the lid and this would be a perfect tray so I the rating on this is four and a half I love the color I like the feeling of it I like how they made it only a, just a few you know little flaws here and there but nothing's perfect like I said and the price is not bad, but the price probably will go up if they have to do a little bit more adjustments. I don't know. But besides that, I do like the company. 
I probably will buy more trays from them. And I do like the free gifts that they give you. I like that they give you a discount code. So go check them out, guys. And see if you want to get anything or try anything from them. And if you have bought stuff from them before, like I said, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Tell me if it's a yay or a nay. Um, what you liked and what you didn't like. Or are you willing to try to buy something from this company? I know a lot of people have their own favorite shops. And that's perfectly fine. I'm exploring right now because I'm still new to the diamond painting world and I'm trying out different things and when you're on a budget like me you got to look around and budget your money <laughs> so yeah so that's about it and if I have any other stuff that comes in over the weekend I will be back on I may do a whip and chat because I want to get better at my whip and chat um, I'm also on TikTok. If you want to check it out on TikTok, my name is different. It's not under Shy Chick on the TikTok. It's under Diamond Painting something. I forgot. I think it's numbers or it could be Grammy or something like that because I am a grandma. I wanted to change it up a little bit. So, because a lot of people had, are, you know, because TikTok it seems like it's a little harder to know if they do diamond paint and stuff so I, I want to use that diamond painting word in my name so but beyond that uh, yeah if you want to see what I'm doing over there come join come see if you like it you can subscribe over there also but I'm not leaving YouTube I am just playing around um, YouTube is my number one focus right now and see how it goes because I love you guys I love all my subscribers I love all the support I love all the communication that's going on and all the tips and tricks and you guys have been wonderful and you have stepped by me through thick and thin so I'm not going anywhere the only thing I'm asking from you guys is please watch my videos Watch them to the end if you can. Share my videos. Give them a thumb up. Comment. And try to help me reach the goal of 500 so I can do another giveaway. Because like I was saying, there's a lot of people who can't afford to do diamond painting. And people have, and people do have like mental you know, awareness or problems or anxiety or depression or anything like that. I want to show them and give them a chance to improve themselves and be happy and put a smile on their face. And if I can give someone some diamond paintings to start off with, I would love to pass it on because it is helping me. So I'm willing to pay it forward and help the next person. And that's how I look at it. Pay it forward, guys. And things will probably look brighter in your future if you get the support, the love, and the kindness. So on that note, you guys have a great Friday. Have a great weekend. Do what makes you happy and keep on crafting. All right. Take care, guys. Happy crafting and bye-bye.